to TechX Media live from Jitex Global 2025 and joined by today Mr. Sabir Salim, CEO Embers. Let's welcome Mr. Sabir on TechX Media. Thanks, Raba. So Sabir, uh, the demand for AI-driven solutions by organization is growing. How is Embers catering to those demands now? So AI, we can segregate into two two sessions. This is my view. One, it's consolidating with uh, hyperscalers like OpenAI. Uh, Amazon, Azure, all those big companies, Oracle, are coming up with a lot of platform solutions. Uh, all is consolidating to those hyperscalers. The main reason is the heavy capex investment needed for a compute, like GPUs needed to uh, train those models or inference those models. But still, there is a question on sovereignty. So, whoever needs the data sovereignty uh, doesn't mean like it's, it's just a government. It can be a, a enterprise sector as well. Those guys need to build uh, a local uh, compute infrastructure. So Embers is more focused on that domain to have a sovereign cloud or sovereign uh, in-prem uh, GPU clusters to have the AI uh, to be live with them or it can be like data to be stayed with them. It's not going to a public cloud or nor a data leak will happen. So we are uh, catering entire region, uh, Middle East, Europe, Far East on this domain. We are partnering, as you know, we are an NVIDIA elite partner. We have a, a partner ecosystem with the storage vendors, networking vendors. We have partnered recently with an entity called Aleria who offer purely a sovereign AI platform. They have their own ETL tool on LLMs, video AI. So this is the domain which we are looking for and uh, help, hoping to have a big business uh, in coming years. All right. Uh, so uh, the role of distributors over the years has changed. Now um, uh, distributors are operating differently. How do you see this, see this shift? So a traditional distribution is still happening in the market, but the the volume volume is still there, but the margins are pretty pretty low. Like for, uh, big big uh, distributors, like uh, I don't want to name anyone uh, who do in billions, they are still uh, in a good shape. So. The mid-level people like Embers, we are still not good enough to uh, do business if you do only like a box moving or a, or a trade transaction. So we started like Embers Labs a few years back, which really helped us in these days to transform the distribution business as a value-added distribution. So we have uh, distribution rights with uh, Micron, we have distribution rights with uh, Samsung these days, uh, NVIDIA, and different partners, Supermicro, ASUS. So we integrate the solution based on customer needs with the SKUs which uh, OEMs doesn't offer. So we can customize those solutions. So with the help of our distribution portfolio, we are able to generate those specified uh, SKUs and we are able to sell to the market, which make our position much more better than a, a trader. Very well said. Uh, so uh, Mr. Saber, how is your vendor portfolio growing? with the new technologies in place now? So um, on a distribution portfolio, we have onboarded uh, Zotac and MSI. So Zotac is a, a GeForce uh, partner. We have grown the GeForce business drastically. If you look into our numbers uh, in last three years, we almost done uh, three times the business in 2025 already. So that business is growing very fast. It was a very good uh, partnership to initiate with. Adding with the PNY, which we are already carrying, Zotac was a value add to that. MSI, we are they are a prominent gaming brand, but we started with their uh, workstation and uh, laptop business. We recently started transaction. It's also growing well. And we started uh, also with ASUS Nook. It was an Intel brand. Now it, uh, it's under ASUS. So we have a uh, direct distribution rights now. Since one quarter, we are transacting. Also have a good track on this. Interesting. Uh, Embers has also taken one in initiative, AI Labs. Could you please tell us about it also? So still, AI is uh, something everyone is exploring. Every organization, that's a government, fintech, healthcare, education, everyone is exploring. So everyone wants to try their LLMs, either with the open source or develop their own foundation models. All the universities need uh, access to the uh, students to access to their AI research or uh, training, whatever needed. So the, uh, the traditional systems which everyone follows, the CPU-based systems, is not good enough, good enough to have those uh, 
training or inferencing uh, capability. So we are designing GPU-based systems. So starting from workstation to servers to cluster of GPUs, depends on the demand. We are specialized in designing and deploying those uh, systems for AI labs. So it can be one workstation, 50 workstations, few servers with the high-end GPUs for workstation. And we have an orchestration layer which you can allocate the resources based on the need of the researcher. So uh, you don't need to have like one system for one researcher. You can allocate the time slots for them for training based on their models demand. We are adding a value. We are not just selling a hardware. We are adding a value to manage their AI labs. Correct. Uh, last but not the least, we are at Jitex Global as Embus is exhibiting its your seventh consecutive uh, participation. Uh, so uh, what are your key focus areas this year? And what will be your key takeaways from the event? Key focus is AI. So you don't see any event globally on IT without a focus on AI. Correct. So same as like we are focusing on AI. Uh, one of the key challenges for our market, not our market globally, is the, the power and cooling for uh, the uh, high uh, performance computing, right? So the liquid cooling is coming to uh, place our region are slowly adopting to it. So we are for, uh, showcasing a liquid cool rack, a full liquid cool rack from Supermicro in our booth. It's there as a live demo. All the customers, vendors are welcome to see this. And we are adopting to this uh, this technology any new gpus from nvidia like gb300 ruben or works 100 percent on liquid cool not on air cool so we are we are bringing more partners to this ecosystem and getting more specialized on this. thank you so much for joining us today mr saber as always it was pleasure talking to you thanks Rabat. thank you very much thank you for watching